All right, now yet another way that we can utilize our hardware is by using it for effects purposes. Uh, over here on my little table, I have my SP-404. This is a tried and true iconic sampler used by many, many big name producers. Uh, it's just an amazing machine. But I personally like to use it mainly as an effects processor. Having the three knobs on top to alter certain parameters and just having all those effects right there uh, is just a very flexible tool for that purpose. And I can use this as a hardware effects box with Bitwig. What I'd like to do is take advantage of this effects track that I have right here and basically be able to route audio from any of these different tracks to the effects track and have that effects track send the audio to my SP-404 and then be able to hear the output of the wet effect. Now, before I do this, let me just make it clear. Uh, right now, I'm using an audio interface. It's my K-Mix interface. It has eight outs and uh, 10, 10 outs and eight ins. There we go. And it's important that if we're gonna try a scenario like this, that we have an audio interface with more than just two outs. Basically what I need to do is whatever audio that I'm sending to my effects track has to go out of a separate set of outputs, a different pair that's not going to my speakers. So then that audio can be directly sent to my effects unit. If I go into the dashboard and we look at the settings, here's my KMix audio interface, my inputs. More importantly, here's my output buses. So I have my outputs going to one and two for my speakers. And then I also have another stereo pair, three and four, which is gonna send audio directly to the 404. That audio will get processed by whatever effect that I choose. So with that established, and I've also named the output to SP404, it's quite nice. So I'm gonna to go to my effects track here, and I'm gonna add a device that will allow me to do what I'm describing. And if we type in HW, this brings up all the hardware stuff. And here we have hardware effects. So I'm gonna select this and hit okay. So the output. The output of anything that's fed into this device should go out to the SP-404. And the input, I have the SP-404 going through my OctaTrack, so the audio is gonna come in through the OctaTrack input. All right, so let me go ahead and play this. And on this track, there's the audio from the NoCos, and I think I'd like to send that to the SP-404 and maybe try it going through some reverb or something for now. So if we go back here to my hardware effects device, audio five, this is the no coast. I'm gonna turn this up. There we go, now we can hear that reverb. Again, that's coming directly from the SP-404. Another very nice effect to play around with on the 404 is the delay. There's a couple different delays. The one I like to play with uh, is not tempo synced and it works more like a tape delay. So it's a lot of fun to play around with this. So I'll try that out. And again, it's just an effect that we wouldn't be able to really utilize within Bitwig but having our hardware gives us that many more options. So let's try this one out. So one of my personal favorite little devices when it comes to working with hardware, because again, I just love the effects that I can get from the SP-404. It also gives me a chance to sample any elements that are playing on my different tracks because I can send audio directly here without that going to my speakers. And instead of processing it with effects, I can simply sample it to the pads and then be able to play that a little bit later on. So very, very useful device, the hardware effects.